Um, hi, it's Iona, and we are moving ourselves around the natural circle of the year, season by season, and keyword by keyword. We're looking at the keyword of trust during this August moon month, and we are paying attention to the idea that it actually is not something that any of us can teach one another how to trust our lives, right? Uh, we can see people who demonstrate that they seem to trust what's going on in their life at any given time. But this is such a demons dancing around the bed kind of a thing uh, that trust comes and it goes and it comes and it goes like the waves of the ocean crashing on the beach. Sometimes they're inviting and sometimes they're like, oh, move away, move away. But what we want to be aware of is that we gain trust by trusting. We don't get trust in any other way. And that's probably true for every one of the keywords. We gain clarity by getting clear about situations. We gain wisdom by recognizing that we don't know everything. We gain brilliance by realizing that we can get up, lit up by our lives and be radiant about what we're passionate around. We can grow by recognizing that we have to pull the weeds in order to give room for the roots to wiggle around. We trust when we realize that, hey, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. So today I want to make it short. I want to make it sweet. And I want to give you a little uh, quote gift from Peter Coyote. And I think if you Google Peter Coyote, that he is an author, but I've had this author, but I've had this quote for so long that I really don't know exactly um, what his what his calling is in life. However, I adore this quote and have used it many, many a time as the lead into some of my creativity salons. So I want to share it with you today as part of our trust cycle. And so Peter Coyote says, when we peel away all of the constructs that society has accreted, great word, accreted around the core truth of art, the business of art, the status of art, the culture and cultural importance of art, we're left with nothing more than a playful, curious human impulse. An impulse that knows neither its ultimate destination nor how it may finally arrive. This impulse explores the opening before it intuitively, orienting itself and constructing its map as it travels, solving problems and mastering skills step by step, for the same inexpressible reason that the grain dances in a piece of wood and plum trees blossom exuberantly in the spring. I love that. I think that it fits so fabulously for the trust cycle because when you take away all of the layers of importance that have been placed on what we're up to as creatives, what we're up to is being playful. I spent a lot of time with kids in the studio, not teaching them anything, allowing them to show me who they are in their imagination and, you know, kind of coaxing that out, because by seven years old, we're already starting to shut it down. We're already starting to look outside of ourselves. So remember, in our last uh, video, we want to remind ourselves that everything is revolving around us, but we stand in the center with our ancestors and our uh, holy helpers, our mighty companions, the support system that is uh, made up of all the all the me's that I've ever been throughout time, all the you's that you've ever been throughout time. It's really quite stunning to just pause for a moment during the, the trust cycle and kind of take it in. This is Iona. So glad you're here. Look forward to seeing you next time.